So Devin Haney looks to sue Ryan Garcia for fraud and battery and other things that happen. And I know a lot of people are saying that, man, this is just embarrassing, man. Devin Haney, he's uh, doing a lot of things and to try to get this victory back. Nah, it's not really about getting the victory back. I mean, if he sues right now, and a lot of people know that he sues for people who get on PEDs and jump in the ring and lie about it, uh, it's technically, at this point right now, he could be suing for defamation. If we really want to be real, real about it. You have people who fought a guy on PEDs running around saying things to defame his character and his reputation. The dude went into a fight, fought a guy, left, told the guy before he left out the ring, nah, man, you won. It was fair and square. Nah, man, you won. It was fair and square. It was fair and square. You won. Goes home, find, finds out the guy cheated, and people say that Devin Haney is embarrassing. So what's going to be embarrassing, and I already know this, is what's going to happen over the next 12 to 18 months. We just had Ryo recently that was on a video call with Ryan Garcia saying that he wants um, a VADA testing. People said VADA's dirty. Ryo don't seem to think that VADA's dirty. He don't seem to think that VADA set up Ryan Garcia because he still want to test with VADA in case him and Ryan Garcia fight. He said it on video, and that's not allegedly. Um, so is he embarrassing? No, he's not because he just came off a big win. So that's what people are thinking about right now. But if he would have lost the same way he lost against De La Santos, they'll be thinking, oh, that's embarrassing, man. This dude want to test uh, for, for PEDs. So a lot of that stuff is subjective. But Mark Hunt, a UFC guy, he's, he came out and said, if anybody tests against me on PEDs, he said this before he fought. So this is what Devin Haney is doing right now. He said, Mark Hunt said, before anybody fought him, if you test against me positive on PEDs after we fight, I'm suing you. He said, pl point blank, and uh, he said it's simple. If you, if you test on PEDs against me, I'm suing you. Period. Got too much on the line. They ain't paying me enough. I'm already underpaid. I'm one of the biggest names out here. I'm getting underpaid. If you try to ruin my reputation with PEDs, I'm going to sue you, period. And that's what he said. You didn't hear people come out and say, man, he's embarrassing, man. So at the end of the day, next time Devin Haney gets in the ring with somebody, they'll know, okay, I'm going to have to get this dude my life savings if I want to cheat him again. If I want to lie about cheating and tell the whole world that I didn't cheat, so half of the world doesn't even know that Ryan Garcia probably didn't uh, cheat. Or fail the drug test. So that's another thing that goes on. And people realize that now PEDs don't matter in boxing to a lot of fans. And that's embarrassing because a lot of these people I know were saying that uh, Barry Bonds was a steroid user. No proof. No proof. The guy who has proof, yeah. The, the guy who doesn't have proof, no. Nah. So yeah, he needs to sue this guy. He does need to sue him. At first, I was like, nah, I don't sue him. Sue him. Because if somebody else jump in the ring with you and want to play like that, they can lose everything too. Sue him. Absolutely sue him. And still be open to the rematch. But sue him. Guys cannot make PEDs and boxing normal now. They cannot make it normal. If you want to do all that stuff, boxing is going to be officially dead. I'm just going to be real with you. Because as soon as somebody lose their life fighting the guy that was on PEDs, it's going to be over with. And I'm pretty sure guys that have lost their life in the ring before have fought guys on PEDs and the guy never got tested. So I'm pretty sure that has ha that's happened before. Pretty sure. But uh, Tyson Fury sued um, UConn, uh, what, seven, eight years ago, I want to say, for Nandra Long. I think that was something that was first being suspected of Ryan Garcia testing for, but then later on they took that out, even though ESPN reported it. Nedralone, but that was something. Not Osterine, it was Nedralone too. So that's something ESPN reported. So if guys want to sue ESPN for putting out false information, well, do it. But they reported that this guy was taking all this stuff. And the fans think 
think a certain way about Haney now, they're not him suing Ryan Garcia is not gonna change the fact. I've heard everything from people accusing him of taking down the highlights, even though the highlights that the zone posted, the only thing they posted was the three knockdowns. Now when Virgil Ortiz fought bullshit, they didn't just post the knockdowns as the highlights and that was it. But with Ryan Garcia versus Haney, they just post the highlights of the knockdowns. That was it. And nobody said, man, where the highlights to the whole fight at? Where the whole fight is? They just post the highlights to the knockdowns. So I already seen some kind of weird movement going around in the boxing industry. The boxing industry is, people don't realize that it's falling apart, man. It really is. Guys fighting on apps right now. And they basically having retirement fights. A guy, a guy who people said a couple of months ago was the face of boxing that saved boxing. They're now saying that uh, he should retire after taking one loss. There's a lot of wimpy stuff going on in boxing. It's a weak mindset. And it's really weak. And it's really pathetic. It really is. That's why I've disassociated myself from a lot of different things in boxing. And that's the way I that's why I move the way I move. People like passing around clickbait and misinformation and they jump from channel to channel talking about what information is valid and what's wrong. And I see dudes all the time in my comments questioning stuff. I post. Then they'll be on other pages where dudes be clickbaiting all the time. And then they'll sit up here and do all this other stuff. So I've seen how weird boxing fans are. Boxing fans are the weirdest people ever. You never you never see people that's Chief fans in Kansas City and the NFL, even though they went to the Super Bowl like two or three times in a row. You never see those guys running around saying, Hey man, you know what? Uh they cheating for the Chiefs. I've heard I never heard people say that. But you'll find a guy who literally cheating on uh a test, found cheating found lying and still has the benefit of the doubt because he won a guy who just quit to uh what a, a half half a year ago a year and a half ago he quit dude quit so why would you not think somebody who's a quitter would take peds why would you celebrate a quitter who won on peds he's a quitter unless it has something that's nothing to do with boxing has nothing to do with boxing. Is is Anthony Joshua not a bigger star than Devin Haney? Because he just got worse than Devin Haney did. And I didn't see anybody sitting around saying, man, that guy. And he got whooped by a guy who wasn't on PEDs. Now you got people running around saying the guy, he must be on PEDs because he got whooped that bad. See where boxing is going? People want to pick sides and play favorites. We don't have no unbiased boxing news going on right now. It's only like two or three guys. Well, I ain't even going to say that. It's about five or six people that do unbiased news. Everybody else, they cling on to a face of boxing or a favorite fighter, and they try to ride that wave. That wave ain't going to last long. By the time Devin Haney retires, none of these guys who's running around right now, is not. they're not even going to be boxing. That's the crazy part about it that people don't realize. A lot of these fighters not even going to be around in five years. So y'all can cling on to favorites and try to embarrass people and talk down on uh, Benavidez or guys like Haney who are actually trying to fight the best. And then when a lawsuit pops up, oh, that's embarrassing. Dudes are already fighting the best. That's why I'm saying, like, Lomachenko, that's why I don't give credit to other people who beat Lomachenko because... When Haney jumps in the ring with Lomachenko, it's not a big deal. But as soon as Tia Fimo beats Lomachenko, oh, man, he going to the Hall of Fame. We found for found. So we already know fans that don't like Haney. It's, and it's, it's fine. I actually like that. I actually like people who are in the villain role who fans don't like. I actually like that. Right now, a lot of people picking up Bibble right now, Bitterville. I like that. I definitely like that. A lot of people were trying to make uh, Anthony Joshua a media darling. And still is. He's a media darling. Can't get dudes get beat up, lose every round, don't win a second of a fight, and 
get treated fine. Gets treated fine. Does the most embarrassing things? Ah, who cares? We got enough money and reporters in our black book to cover that up. So a lot of this stuff is people playing favors. So he needs to sue this guy. Because I know one thing. It's a lot of people who are actually diehard fans of boxing that probably would not get involved with boxing after that Ryan Garcia and David Haney situation. That's how bad it was. If you got kids, and this is how you know people don't care about their own children. If you got children, why would you put your children in a situation where they can end up losing their life in the ring with a guy who on PEDs who just quit a year before that? Why, for bragging rights? Do y'all not care about the children no more? The ones that's coming up that see all this stuff going on now who think PEDs, as long as people like you, you can take PEDs. As long as people hate the other fighter, you can take PEDs. It's a disgusting world we live in. And with, uh, with boxing, it shows boxing just brings all that nastiness out to the forefront. It brings all the bad energy out to the forefront. And when you try to combat that, it becomes a problem and people reveal themselves. It's not about the boxing. It's not about clean sport. It's not about the sport. It's about who somebody likes. And then as soon as that guy retires or loses, then we're on to the next. I've seen him with Manny Pacquiao. No matter what Manny Pacquiao did, how many times he got slept, they still thought he had a chance of getting Mayweather. But you, if you put others, if you put a Shakur Stevenson in the same situation, if Shakur would have got slept by Marquez, they would have never said, yeah, I want to see Shakur fight. Mayweather, I think he got a chance. So it depends on who people like it these days in boxing, which is pretty nasty.